Well, hello there, people in the viewerverse. Oh, my jellyfish. One second. I'll have that. Sleeping on the job, little jellyfish. Right, anyways, why are we here today? So, this video for you guys in the viewerverse today is around speculation. Do I think something's going to happen this side of Christmas when it comes to No Man's Sky? Where there's a few things that we know are happening for sure, and then there's a few things that are speculation. Let's hit on up the things that we know for sure right now. Here we go. So... Coming into the Quicksilver store, after we've got this antler grass, which we're on our way to unlocking now, we get the Titan Worm Cape appear, and that's number 67. So a brand new cape is going to be dropping into the Quicksilver Merchant store, and it's going to be 3,000 Quicksilver, and it's just one cape. Normally we have to unlock three things, this time it's just one cape. We've had this happen in the past, and sometimes it takes a heck of a lot longer than it does to unlock maybe two things. It's kind of approximated just about two and a half, maybe they're all thereabouts but then after the titan worm cape we have three types of flower for your base and i'd imagine they're going to be placed in a similar sort of way that we place grass which is pretty darn freaking nice we can make little gardens okay and next after after that is the cosmic mega fauna again 3000 quicksilver opposed to the normal 5000 quicksilver but they have up the amount of quicksilver that we get from doing the weekend missions to so take full advantage of those if you can i say if you can because switch players still can't run these weekend missions people which is a bit of a shame hopefully that gets fixed which um we'll get on to a little bit later Next, we've got these, which are underwater sort of rocks and formations, 500 quicksilver each, and there's three of them to be unlocked. And then following that, we've got a tentacle cape. Again, 3,000 quicksilver. Now, I'm wondering whether they've put all these inside of the Quicksilver Merchant store to take us into the new year, considering how long it may take us to unlock each and every one of those capes alongside each of these three things in between. So you've got a couple of cosmetics, you've got a couple of base building parts there we go that's what we know for sure is coming into the verse and it's all quicksilver related now because it's all quicksilver related i'm wondering whether we might be seeing something coming out in the way of an update perhaps to switch to at least give them the ability to run quicksilver missions so they can sort of get and partake in these items over the christmas period i would like to hope that's at least on the cards so that one i think is highly likely to happen now, also, what we've got going on over at the moment on side of the Twitterverse is a shed load of updates that have go, well, been pushed out or, or placed somewhere on Experimental, but they haven't quite yet hit the masses. Let me see if I can bring this up on screen. One second. Let me just chuck that over there. Let's go back to reactions. Actually, let's just get to Twitter. Twitter, Twitter, Twitter. We're out here. There we go. Right, so here we go. Now let's bring this up. Okay, so over on the Twitterverse, Shaun of the Murrays has been putting out a fair few of these um, experimental branch updates, but they haven't been pushed out to all the other platforms as yet. So just scrolling down here, you see there's a couple. There's some nice screenshots. I haven't seen that one yet. There you go. I'm going to retweet that one. Usually retweet his stuff out of November. Bloody heck. Well, I haven't I've missed that one then. But there's been a few pushed out to the experimental branch. Let's go and hit up the experimental branch over here. Experimental branch 211. I think there's been a lot more than this as well. So, yeah, on the Steam branch, there's 411 there as well. So, there we go. So, there's a few that have gone out, and these haven't all gone out as yet to all the other platforms. So, hopefully, we're going to be seeing a swathe of these being bolted together, packaged, and deployed all at once. That kind of makes me think, well, if they're doing that, could they be doing something else in the way of maybe, I don't know, bringing out some... A, a, a quality of life patch i mean they have done visions in the past around november time and also synthesis around november time and both of those were quality of life updates so i'm wondering whether that might be on the cards now jumping over onto here expeditions revisited this is another thing that could be happening so yeah and November 24th, 2021, so last year, they'd done a rerun of all the expeditions that were out to give people the chance to get themselves a Golden Vector, to get themselves the Normandy, and all the other stuff that a lot of people are running about with right now, this new worm helmet and all that sort of shenanigans. So they might do that again. Now, this ran until January, I believe. Let's see if we can find when they were running to. I believe it went to about the, about mid-January, about the 19th. There we go. The 19th of January was the last one, the fourth. The fourth emergence one ran until the 19th of January. Now, we've got, we've got double the amount now. 
So I'm kind of expecting if they were to put this out, it should land around about, like, well, when did this come out? It was like the 24th, wasn't it, of November? 24th of November? I'd like to see it happening around now. <laughs> <laughs> around now if they were going to put all of the expeditions in there and maybe run it to the end of january to give that little bit of extra time i mean a lot of these expeditions you don't need that much time to run them you can get them done within like you know a couple of hours each one uh, especially if you follow guides and things that are online and that or follow previous playlists because not much has changed so there we go and who knows you may even be able to change your mode but then again speaking to kurt he was looking at the game files and apparently you can't change your game mode settings on an expedition there's some there's a text string there that says you know you this is disabled or whatever but that's probably not the case that's pretty much everything that i've got for you when it comes to spec well that's, that's kind of speculation isn't it well it is it's speculation based on previous years and patterns so the quality of life sort of updates that I was thinking about, since we're on the No Man's Sky website, let's just have a quick look. And can I search this thing? No, I can't. Okay, well, I'd, I'd use bloody Google then. No Man's Sky, and I think Visions. Visions was one. And I think that one came out in a November, if I'm right in thinking. Let's have a quick look, see if it says the actual date on here. No, it doesn't. Okay, well, if I hit watch on YouTube, and uh, yeah... I'll be very quick on the old mute button. When was this put out there? Three years ago. Great. Doesn't say the freaking bloody month, does it? Okay, well, that helped. Um, no. Well, I, I believe that was November. <laughs> okay, people. And the other one was uh, Synthesis. Synthesis. And again, I can't really. Let's go, let's go to menu. Let's have a quick look at release log. Let's have a look at the release log because hopefully that's got the bloody dates on it. That would help, wouldn't it? Okay, 4.6. Uh, I don't think they have. No, they, they don't put the bloody dates on them. Lovely. That, that's really bloody helpful, isn't it? But yeah, I, I believe it was November time anyway. November for Visions and November for Synthesis. And both being quality of life updates. If we're following patterns, there is a chance that we might see that drop. Um, but yeah, hold on. No Man's Sky release log. Let's have a look. No Man's Sky. Uh, release release log maybe and okay that's taking me back to the website that has no bloody dates on isn't it yes no there was an article recently that listed out every single one of the updates and patch notes no man's sky fandom and patch notes zendesk i found i found an article the other day it was it was pretty darn freaking good um, but yeah, there we go, peeps. That's that's pretty much all I've got for you. I'm just gonna make myself nice and big again. But yeah, visions and I believe uh, synthesis were two updates that came out in a November. I have, I don't believe there's ever been an update, a large update drop in December or January. That seems to be hibernation period. So I'm kind of expecting them maybe to do the reruns of the expeditions over the Christmas and festive period. I was really hoping to see a brand new expedition. Because there's two things inside the game files. That's the thing that I didn't touch on, isn't it? There's two things inside the game files. One is this helmet here. Um, I'm going to make that a bit bigger for you. Let me um, just get it on the screen again. So this helmet here is called the Solar Helmet. And that is not a Quicksilver item, but is inside of the game files. So I'm wondering whether that might be an expedition item. And it's got every chance that it could be. Also, there's some Sentinel Trails. When you go in to customize your freighter from the freighter deck console, there is a locked one that says Sentinel Trails. And I'm thinking that might be an expedition reward. So maybe a Sentinel come Outlaws type expedition, perhaps. And maybe that's why we're seeing all this squiffiness in multiplayer at the moment, where there's loads of Sentinel drones that appear when you summon your own little lay laps and stuff in multiplayer. Maybe they're tweaking something to do with Sentinels again. Who knows, people in the view of us, but that's my speculation on things. I. <sighs> Are we going to see a new expedition this year or are we going to see reruns? That's the real question, isn't it, people? Sound off in the comments. Let me know your thoughts and feelings because at the end of the day, it's speculation. Anything's possible. Anyways, that's everything I've got for you. But those Quicksilver items, the list that I did at the start, they we know are coming. So there we go. That's what you've got to look forward to for sure. And everything else is up in the air. <laughs> okay, take care. Goodbye, goodbye. And goodbye again.